All right, here we go. Big day, shit day. 1345 at the polling place. So today's voting day, and so I'm in a little weird situation because I used to live in LA. I didn't change my voting registration. Now I'm in like San Bernardino County. So I gotta see if I can vote. I should be able to vote, yes. All right, so let's see how this goes. Awesome. I don't know how this works. Hold on. Okay, good. So they gave you this thing. I have to fill it out. And uh, let's go. Okay, so yes, I gotta go here. Yeah, baby. That's it. My choices, whatever. All right, there we go. So, can I vote? Yes. So yeah, I was getting nervous because I'm like, gosh, am I gonna be able to vote on this thing? So you know, I'm telling my students like, oh yeah, I gotta leave early. I do that one hour tutoring and then leave at four. My kids still stay till five. I went, oh my gosh, I'm screwed. I'm not gonna be able to vote. But yes, I voted. I'm gonna keep the sticker too, or throw it away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know the way that people have to do your civic duty and vote. If you like how things are going, or you like how things are not going, then you vote accordingly. And yeah, you know I should yeah, I vote. I don't care, right? You know, get the recall. Am I a fan of Newsom? No, I'm not. Do I really want like one of these other guys to replace him? Yeah, I do. But it's just the way that this thing all went out, you know. And then you know a lot of the things, and it wasn't like, you know, when when uh, you know like all the heavy hitters came out, you know, like you had Kamala Harris come out and Biden come out and. You know, Bernie Sanders, they're saying, oh, yeah, support Newsom, right? They didn't say one thing good about what he did. All they're saying is, like, vote for this guy, because if you vote for the other guy, it's like voting for Trump. It's like, dude, this guy's about to pardon Sirhan Sirhan, the dude that, like, like uh, what was it, you know, assassinated Bobby Kennedy, right? And this is a guy that just let that guy out of prison who like, you know, buried a, buried a guy alive when he was like 15 or something. I go, oh my gosh, or 20. And they're letting that dude out of jail, right? And then, you know, the economy, the whole thing on telling everybody to mask up and that dude's like eating out there. They're doing, a, you know, all the gas prices going up, paying for these roads and like the the railroad system and you know the railroad system is supposed to go from uh, I don't know LA to San Francisco right but you know the housing crisis homeless crisis but now like oh no you gotta keep them in there because if you don't vote for him it's like voting for Trump it's like, so anyways that's as political as I get right now uh but also, I heard Larry Elder. Yeah, I listen to talk radio. That dude's really sharp. I like him. You know? And, um, you know, you may not agree with, like, everything. But that guy's really awesome. But it's just, gosh. You know, something's fishy when Newsom and them are saying, like, Oh, Larry Elder, he's the face of the Ku Klux, Klan, Ku Klux Klan, right? So for the people that don't know, the Ku Klux Klan is like a white supremacist organization. This guy's black. And then he also grew up in, you know, South Central LA, you know, like, Com like uh, not Compton, like Crenshaw High School. It's like, I don't think that dude is like that. 
you know? So all this little misinformation and stuff. Who knows? So, that's that. In the meantime, I'm glad that my students, they got some of the food from, uh, uh, you know, they got the food for the, um, what do you call it? Back to school tutoring. They shared with me the peanut butter sandwiches and everything. And that's super cool. You know, so I guess I had my dinner. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty like crazy. Oh, that dog. Uh, people say, hey, why don't you buy a dog? Why don't you buy a dog? Well, watch my videos, you know why I'm not going to get a dog. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So when they're doing their stuff, that is awesome. So they're gonna have that baseball practice up today. Oh, coaching. Smell it in the air. So yeah, it's crazy. So when I've seen these kids run. Or even see like the high school kids run and stuff, right? But I think like, oh, maybe I could run like, you know, even like five steps, whatever. It feels like my feet are so heavy now. I'm like, oh, that's bad. You know, getting older. What can you do? All right, there you go. Day 13, 45. There you go. Day 1345 in the books. So, you know, I was going to do my walk, school and stuff, but I knew I had to come here and then, you know, do my voting and stuff, and that's what it's about, getting it in there, right? Do I feel good about myself? Totally, totally I do, you know? But in the meantime, I'm going to go eat something. I'm actually hungry. Anyways, yes, I voted. The United States, 1345. If I can exercise 1,345 days in a row, you can exercise 1,345 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I could, and I did it. You can do it, I could do it. What? Day 1,345. If I could do it, you can do it. If I can exercise 1,345 days in a row, you can exercise 1,345 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Voting. Awesome.